Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're watching this video, you want to know about the Leasehold Reform Act. What's happening? Well, I've got some very, very good news for you today. Uh, there's a date, and I'm going to cover that in the video, and there's a massive update in what's happening. And so this is going to be a very, very important video. So while you're here, do me a little favour. Help me get this message out to more people. Give me a quick like on the video, guys. That really, really helps. And that will get more eyeballs here. And also, very quickly, um, in the description uh, or the comments here, I'm going to put a quick link where you can grab an ebook on everything you need to know about extending your lease and doing it at the cheapest possible cost. So click in the description and grab that ebook while you're here too. Now, you're probably here because you have a property and the lease is short. And I've been in that situation. I'm in that situation going through the process of that now. And so I've actually done quite a few videos on this. So do go and check out my other channel. And uh, my other channel, my this channel, but that my other videos on um, what else you can do. Because there are things you can do while you're waiting for this new legislation to come through. So I'm going to have to read some stuff and, and dissect this for you guys. Uh, because there's some really, really big updates last week. And so they are saying that the future legislation, and this is all great news pretty much, uh, will include the following. It will include reform the process for enfranchisement valuation used to calculate the cost of expanding a lease or buying the freehold. Now, this is good. So I didn't really know what en <laughs> enfranchisement meant. Uh, so a Google search on that is basically... It's about when you want to collectively buy your freehold uh, off the current freeholder. Uh, and so there's going to be new legislation on that and it's going to make it more affordable and it's going to make the costs uh, fair and have some rules in place for that. Because when you're buying a, a freeholder at the moment, it can be how long is a piece of string, what is the value? Uh, and so it can be very, very difficult to get that. So that is good. Now, this is number two. This is the best one for me. So if your lease drops below 80 years, then at that stage, if you want to extend it, any uplift in the value of your property. So let's just say your property is worth um, 150 grand with a short lease. But if you to extend the lease above 80 years, back up to 100 years or 1000 years or whatever, then the property was worth 200 grand. That means that the uplift in value is 50 grand, right? By adding that length onto the lease. Now, how it currently works is this value here, the uplift, you will split with the freeholder, even though you're not actually getting that money. It's just equity sitting in your property. So if they feel that the value is going up by 50 grand, you have to pay 25 grand to extend your lease. Insane. Now imagine this is in London, because this is happening to a lot of people in London. I've had comments on my other videos of people that have been charged 100 grand to extend the lease because the value went up by 200 grand. Imagine you had a million pound flat in Kensington or Chelsea or somewhere like that. Also depends on how far down the lease is. If you've only got 10 years, it might even increase the value even more. So this is a bad scenario for people. And so what they're saying is in this new legislation, which I'm going to give you the date on when this is going to happen soon, they're going to abolish, abolish marriage values. That is music to my ears and definitely music to your ears uh, looking at the comments on all the videos on this. That is the killer the the the, uh, the marriage value and they're saying that that is going to be done as well it's going to happen a lot sooner than you think so keep watching so they're also going to cap the treatment of ground rents at 0.1 percent of the freehold and prescribe rates for the calculations at market value so they're going to give an on on calculator for uh figuring out ground rents now ground rents actually if you renew your lease they get scrapped anyway. So that's good. So they're also going to keep existing discounts for improvements made by leaseholders and security of tenure, retain the separation valuation uh, for low value properties, give leaseholders of flats 
and houses the same rights to extend their lease as often as they wish at zero ground rent for the term of 999 years. Now that is music to my ears as well and it should be to yours. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You see, when you extend a lease, they don't have to extend it to 999 years. In fact, they can extend it like 20 or 30 years just to get you just above the 100 years. And then you're going to get the same scenario down the line. The lease is going to get shorter and you're going to have to pay the freeholder to extend. Now, you're going to be able to extend the lease to 999 years. That effectively makes it a freehold. And you're never going to have to bother with this leasehold stuff again. That is going to be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so you just deal with it once and you're never going to have to deal with it again. Because this is quite frustrating, this leasehold stuff. I've been negotiating a leasehold extension recently and it's very difficult. The management company are getting in the middle. I couldn't actually speak to the freeholder. Really, really frustrating. Uh, and so that is another win. So two huge wins in this legislation so far. Abolishing the marriage values, extending to 999 years. Lastly, enable leaseholders where they already have a long lease to buy out the ground rent without extending the lease term. Great. So there are properties. I've seen one in Hastings, for example, where the ground rent is a thousand pounds a month, a month. They can't even sell the property. Some dodgy developer has put it up um, in there. And so it's crazy. Uh, that property is worth about 200 grand and it's on for like 10. They can't even sell it at 10 because no one wants that liability. They'd probably sell it to you for a pound and you still wouldn't take it because the rent you'll get there is only 800. So it's impossible to make money on. It's an absolute farce. Uh, and so that is another difficult uh, situation. So here's the main things that I'm really chuffed with about this. So what they're saying is the abolish the marriage values. They're, and they're talking about extending leases to 999 years. Now, we were expecting this stuff. So when's this going to happen? Good news. It's going to happen this year in 2023. And it's going to happen at the King's Speech. So when Charlie Boy does his speech, that's when it will happen. Now, the King's speech is normally early in the year. It's been put back this year because he's got quite a busy year, coronation and stuff like that. It's going to happen in the autumn of 2023. Now, that is the best update we've had on this leasehold stuff for quite some time. You see, a couple of years ago, they talked about all this stuff. When's it going to happen? Now the Conservatives have committed that this will happen before the next Parliament, which is 2024. They've now brought that forward and they're pushing it through in the King's speech. Now, some of these things, until it actually happens, might change. But this is very, very positive. I can see this being great news for a lot of leaseholders that absolutely are stitched up at the moment with this marriage value, the extension of the lease to 999 years, absolutely incredible. So in the guide, I'm going to give you some strategies because maybe you need to get deal with this sooner. And I'm going to put all of that details into the ebook that I've made for you. So click on the description and grab your ebook uh, and we'll get that whizzing across to you in the, the next few minutes. Uh, and that will be a great win for you. So I hope you found that useful. I bet you've got some happy viewers on this video. <laughs> I bet you there are some happy viewers on this video. So smash the like button, guys. Let's get this positivity out. If you want to help me and this has helped you, the video, smashing that like button really helps get more views. Subscribing and hitting the bell and grab your free ebook below. Bye for now.